In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this speech to image app you can see on the left here. So if I go blue cat, blue cat, blue cat, you can see the cat popping up here. So give the cat a hat. Give the cat a hat. You can see this is working. I'm also gonna show you how crazy this gets when we combine it with the audio from YouTube videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did this and how you can too. So let's just get started. Here is kind of the flowchart of this low latency speech to image. So we have my microphone here. We use faster whisper to transcribe what I say. And this is fed into this some kind of comfy UI Python extension. That is a GitHub. I'm going to link you to that. And we are combining all of this with a stable diffusion model. We can pick this from Civit AI, what kind of model you want to use. And we use a Flask app to display this image uh, in real time. So the flowchart is pretty simple, but there's a bit more to it to set this up. So I think we're going to take a quick look at the code, but I might have to do like a separate uh, tutorial on how to set this up. We'll see. Uh, I might do that on my members uh, section though. But yeah, let's move on. So yeah, like I said, this is built on top of Comfy UI. If you don't know what that is, uh, I'm going to leave a link to this too. Uh, basically, this is what Comfy UI here. So this is just a... Uh, yeah, you can call it like a graphical user face to use uh, stable diffusion models. So you have a lot of cat running in a black hill. Yeah, you can see the image change as I type in here now. So yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with this. But uh, this is kind of the workflow I have loaded in here. And this is what I wanted to use to kind of create the app I have. So to do that, I have something called Comfy UI to Python extension. So this takes this kind of workflow and turns it into a Python code. So that is basically what I did. Uh, pretty easy to set up. Uh, like I said, I might do a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, if I'm going to do this all in this video, it's going to be like an hour long. Or like 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to skip that. And make that for the member section I think. Uh, if a lot of people want it. I might do it uh, on here anyway. But uh, basically this is the first step. To set up Comfy UI. To have the workflow you want. And basically convert it into this Python code. The next step is going to be to set up faster whisper. You can see it's actually running down under my face here. Uh, I did a video on this, yeah, I think it was last video, so you can just go back and see how you set this up. I also have this available on my community GitHub if you just want to download it. So this should be pretty easy to set up too. This is a part of this app. So yeah, I think we're just going to move on to step 3. Like I said, if you want to watch this, you can just go back to, I think, this previous video. Okay, so now we have the faster whisper set up. We have the comfy UI Python extension set up. Now we just want to pick our stable diffusion model, create the Flask app, and yeah, then start testing. So let's take a quick look at the Python code and how we set up this Flask app. That was basically really easy, but yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so you can see in our code here, we have some functions that has been converted using this Py comfy UI to Python extension. And if we scroll further down here, you can see all the nodes we have imported and stuff. Here is where we take the, the microphone input. So we record a chunk and we transcribe it. We are using Whisper for this. So we are using the medium model from Faster Whisper. Uh, you can change this up too. You can pick any model you want. We see we are running on CUDA course. And I wanted to show you checkpoint. This is kind of the model we are using. So we can set our checkpoint name here. So if we head over to Cibit AI, here you can download different checkpoints. Uh, I think they have to be stable diffusion based. So, but everyone here is almost that. So that shouldn't be a problem. I think we are running this real vis XL now, plus turbo because we kind of want the turbo here to make it quick. But I think you can make it work with other models too. I think uh, if you scroll further down here. Uh, you can see we have a true loop and here we can kind of set our the first part of our prompt so I want a crystal clear illustration off and here we kind of put our sliding window prompt so if we scroll further up in the code here we can kind of see how we can customize our uh, scrolling window so we can set a maximum 
length of characters we want in our prompt. So here it's set to 60. This means we can get, generate a lot of images pretty fast and we can adjust the chunk length. So if we go one second, uh, 60 characters, this means that the image will upload or update very quick. Here's the size of the image. So we have 512 by 512, right? And there's a lot of adjustments you can make here. Here's kind of the sampler. And uh, you can go as detailed as you want into this, I think. Uh, I have just started exploring this. Here is kind of we set our steps. And um, there's a lot of things I don't 100% understand what is best. And so I haven't experienced but so much with it. But uh, like I said, uh, if you want access to this code, I think I have to do a tutorial on my my YouTube membership section on this because it's it's uh, yeah it's a bit in depth, but it should be pretty easy to set up if you want to try it out. Uh, so I uh, I might do that. So you can follow the link in the description. Support me if you want to become a member, and you will get access to the GitHub and stuff. Uh, so this is kind of the back end. We also wanted a front end, so I created this uh, Flask app here. Uh, pretty straightforward. We just have our file folder. So this is where the images from the workflow is saved and this app just looks at this folder and loads the latest image and deletes the previous one. So we always have uh, just one image in our output at all times and in the HTML here, here we set our refresh rate to 500 milliseconds and we can kind of change up the the title, the colors and stuff, but I just kept it very simple. Uh, the only thing that ma matters to me is kind of the refresh rate here. So we always get the latest image quickly upright. I think that is it for the code, I think. Like I said, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it here now. Uh, I just want to go and test what can we do with this. Will it work? So I think we're now just going to do a bunch of tests and see how well it works. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm actually gonna run the script. We're gonna play a YouTube video. So this is from the Joe Rogan podcast. And then we're gonna see if this image matches what they are talking about in the podcast. So I'm just gonna run the script now. Uh, I'm gonna take off my headphones and put it on my mic here like this. And then we're just gonna play the video and see if it matches. There's something that changed in the field of AI in 2017 that everyone needs to know because I was not freaked out about AI at all, at all, um, until this big change in 2017. Mm -hmm. It's really important to know this because we've heard about AI for the longest time and you're like, yep, Google Maps still mispronounces like the street name and like Siri just doesn't work. Um, and this thing happened in 2017 it's actually the exact same thing that said, all right, now it's time to start translating animal language. And it's where underneath the hood, the engine got swapped out and it was a thing called transformers. Um, and the interesting thing about this new model called transformers is the more data you pump into it and the more like computers you let it run on. Okay, I think that was pretty cool, right? So I'm going to stop it now. So yeah, I think that worked out pretty good, to be honest. I was quite surprised. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just going to move on to the next use case, which is this kind of bedtime story. Okay, so before we run this, I wanted to change up the prompt here a bit. So I'm going to go illustration in the style of Gib Ghibli anime. So let's try that. Okay, let me open up this. Let me open up the video. And uh, let's fire up this. Uh, okay. So let's clear this and let's run it. So yeah, uh, I haven't tried this, but let's see what happens. Deep chase. Luckily, there was a full moon that night by which the shadowy hulk and the swaying masts of the black ship could be seen. All the next day they sailed, but never close to the other vessel did they come. Another night and another day found them no closer. Finally, late in the afternoon of the third day, a great storm came sailing over the edge of the sea. 
a blast of wind struck the merchant's ship, then a torrent of rain, and when night came, the storm was at its height. Okay, that was pretty good, right? Uh, I didn't follow the story because I can't hear it so good, but I just read it down here and I gotta say it looked pretty good. Let me just stop that. So yeah, again, I was quite impressed by that. I'm gonna watch it back on the video to see how good it actually was with the sound on, but yeah. Uh, let's move on to our music video. Okay, so I changed up the prompt, Taylor Swift music video. Okay, so let's find this. Let's find this and let's fire up the uh, song. So this is Taylor Swift Out of the Woods a cappella version because I tried a normal music video but there's a lot of noise like from the instruments and stuff so it kind of messed up the translation. Okay, let's run this uh, like that and let me take off the mic here. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's run it. But we were in screaming color and I remember thinking, are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we in the clear yet? Are we in the okay, that looked pretty strange, huh? Wow, that was kind of freaky. Uh, I might have to cut that down to like 10, 15 seconds, we'll see. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, is that Taylor Swift? It kind of looks like her, but again, it doesn't look like her at the same time. But yeah, pretty funny to be honest. Okay, so let's just end it with uh, a Mr. Beast video. Uh, I think that was pretty cool. I think I actually tested this. So let's see if I can recreate that. So let me take my headset off. And fire it up. These five tanks are literally about to rain missiles upon this $500,000. And any money that doesn't get destroyed, I'm giving to Blake. Fire these tanks. I need metal, let's go! All right, let's go, boys! Oh, he's running! Blake's first three hours consisted of sourcing any metal he could find to protect his money. Can you give me any of your shipping containers? Go to go back. Yeah, this is good. I feel like those will work well if I put them on top of the money. And as if by the Okay, <laughs> yeah. Again, pretty cool. Like I, I said, I couldn't hear the voices. The voices were so good, but I, I looked at it here and it looked pretty cool. I saw tanks, I saw shipping containers. And a lot of cool stuff. So I'm gonna watch it back now after I have recorded this. But uh, yeah, awesome. So yeah, that was kind of my demonstration of this. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this. Uh, a lot of laughs and there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do with this. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this app. I'm gonna develop it more and do other cool stuff with it. Uh, I, I really wanted to create some kind of video so I'm gonna be looking into that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you want access to this, just follow the link in the description below. Become a member of the channel. You will get access to GitHub. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you on Sunday.